Hi, I'm Jorge with Holistic Family Solutions and I'm here with Leah. This month, our focus is bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is an illness of the brain that causes children and teens to have periods of extreme highs and extreme lows. Today's activities include inchworm, Russian twist, medicine ball squat with chest pass, and mountain climber twists. To participate, you will need a medicine ball. As always, before beginning any new fitness regimen, speak with your physician to ensure you are healthy enough to participate. Ready to begin? Good, let's get started. Inchworm. Stand with feet hip width apart and core tight. Bend from the waist, place hands on the ground and walk hands forward, keeping legs straight. When you arrive in a high plank, quickly walk hands back towards feet and stand. Russian twist. Grab a medicine ball, dumbbell, or weight plate and sit on the floor with your hips and knees bent 90 degrees. Hold the weight straight out in front of you and keep your back straight. Your torso should be at about 45 degrees to the floor. Explosively twist your torso as far as you can to the left and then reverse the motion, twisting as far as you can to the right. That's one rep. Do three sets of eight to 12 at the end of your workout. Medicine ball squat with chest pass. This is a partner exercise. Grab a medicine ball and hold with both hands in front of the chest, drop into a squat position. Palms should be facing each other and thumbs pointing towards your face. Stand with feet shoulder width apart and knees slightly bent. Weight should be evenly distributed on your feet. Stand about three feet away from a concrete wall. Begin exercise by throwing the ball against the wall as hard as you can, extending arms straight out in front of you as if you're throwing a chest pass in basketball. Catch the ball off the wall, bring back to your chest and repeat. Mountain climber twist. From a high plank position with core tight, run left knee in towards your right elbow, then your right knee in towards your left elbow. Continue to alternate as quickly as possible without hiking hips. Great job guys, how do you feel? Studies show that children and teens that exercise regularly benefit from a positive boost in mood and show lower rates of depression. Perform three to four times per week, regular exercise can help to reshape your child's overall mood and outlook. Parents, continue to encourage your child to stay active and find time to make fitness a family affair. Be sure to check out our website, holisticfamilysolutions.com, for more fitness demonstrations. Until next time.